Good morning, Takabe sensei Morning. Uh, but calling me that is a bit... Uh... Huh, really? I thought it sounded cute. <laughs> well, whatever. But hey, uh, your skirt is way too short. <laughs> There's a school assembly today, and you'll get in trouble if you don't fix it. <laughs> don't look. I'm not looking. Ugh, hurry up and get to class. Okay. I, Shogo Takata, actually enjoy this life as a high school teacher. They said it might rain today, but it's totally sunny. Good morning, Takada sensei I saw you telling a student her skirt was too short, but don't you have too many buttons undone on your shirt? Oh, morning, Wakapi. What's with that nickname? A student called me something like that earlier, so I thought I'd try it. She's Rikako Nishikawa, the student council president. She's incredibly beautiful, but a bit too serious and rumored to dislike boys, which makes her a bit intimidating. She's perfect at both academics and sports, with no weaknesses. By the way, the vice principal was mad at you earlier. You haven't turned in the documents due today. Can you wait until the evening? I forgot, but why would you tell a student about that? Maintaining a teacher's dignity, you know? You never had any dignity to begin with, did you? And you're the advisor to the student council. You're late with your documents because you're hanging out with female students. What? No, I went too far. I know you're busy, so it can't be helped. Oh, by the way, there's a time slot for the student council's announcement at today's assembly. Yeah. Are you even listening? I am, but you look a bit pale. I'm fine, as usual. You always look fair and beautiful, but something seems off today. Do you want to be reported to the vice principal for sexual harassment? Go through this, and don't forget to submit the documents. See you at the assembly later. I wonder if she hates me. Maybe it's because you're so flirty, Takara-sensei. She seems really serious. We probably don't get along, regardless of gender. I see. By the way, you're late. Please, just this once, let it slide. Uh. All right, well, now I'll begin the school assembly. It's really starting to rain. And it's quite a downpour. It's going to be a problem if the hallway gets wet. Here's a speech from the principal. Uh, I feel like I might fall asleep. But she really looks like she's struggling. I heard she had an illness before. Is it because of that? Thank you, Principal. Next, we have reports and announcements from the student council. What's wrong? Nishikawa, hey! Huh? What's happened with her? What's going on? Teachers, call an ambulance! And bring the AED! She's not breathing! I've got the AED! Thank you. I performed first aid using the AED on her. I had been trained regularly as a teacher on how to use it, and I'd used it once before in the past. Whether it was my prayers or not, her breathing returned as soon as we used the AED. At that moment, the ambulance arrived, and I ended up accompanying her to the hospital. The moment I realized she had stopped breathing, it felt like my own heart had stopped. She's still so young. I had to contact her parents. Don't tell my dad. Did you notice? Yeah, sorry for the trouble. Please call my mom. Got it. Just wait. I'll call the doctor right away. I did as she asked and called her mother, who came to the hospital immediately. She hugged her daughter, looking worried, and thanked me profusely. After school hours, when those students were left, I returned to the school to work on reports and urgent documents that needed to be submitted, all the while hoping for her swift recovery. Hey, what happened to her? She regained consciousness yesterday, but she's probably resting today. That's a relief. But hey, you acted so cool and quick when she collapsed. Even though you're usually so flirty. You didn't have to say that last part. But you were taking off her uniform. You're such a pervert. It was necessary to use the AED. It was an emergency. And hey, make sure you all know how to use an AED properly too. Hmm? We learned it in class. Huh, you're different from your usual self. Yeah, that wasn't the reaction I was expecting. <sighs> Cut it out already! It was a matter of life and death. Even I didn't joke around. Think about when it's okay to joke and when it's not. Sorry. I'll be more careful. A few days later. Hey there! Are you coming back to school? Takata sensei I've been looking for you all day. My condition is already fine. Really? Uh, your recovery was faster than I thought. You're looking better today. Oh, sorry. Can I have a little bit of your time? Sure. 
Is she mad that I took off her uniform when using the AED? But she seems like the type who would understand. Thank you so much for helping me. And you contacted my mom, right? Yeah, I did it because you asked. My parents are separated. My dad has zero interest in me. He's always busy with work, and whenever I get sick, my mom spoils me. So people say I'm weak. And that's why I hesitated to let them know when I collapsed. I thought my mom would just get nagged again. I see. Anyway, I wanted to apologize to you first. Huh? About when you did the first aid. You mean about taking off my clothes? Yeah, sorry. I realized later that I could have been more considerate. But at that moment, I wasn't thinking straight. You're actually really serious in a weird way. You're more like a lifesaver to me. Don't worry about it. And as for my dislike of guys, that's just what people around me say. Or maybe you actually had some ulterior motive. Of course not! You're getting close, huh? Judging by your reaction, you didn't give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, did you? Yeah, thanks to the AED, your breathing came back quickly. I thought maybe you gave me a kiss too. Uh, I didn't. I see. What's with that reaction? Come to think of it, my friend told me about when I collapsed. They said they saw a different side of you and thought you looked cool. Well, that's nice to hear. I've only used that machine once before, a long time ago. Is that so? My grandma collapsed at the shopping mall when we were out together. I was still in high school at the time and freaking out because I didn't remember how to use the AED we learned about in class. So I tried following the instructions, but I couldn't do it right. People around just looked worried, but didn't lend a hand. The ambulance came, and in the end, she passed away. My parents said I didn't do anything wrong, but sometimes I still wonder. Was it her fate, or was it my fault? That's rough. So when you collapsed, I was really panicked. I'm sorry. Ugh, my bad. Why did I bring up such a story to you? But I regretted it at that time, so I thought I'd better remember how to use it properly. And I'm glad you're here now. Yeah. It's been a month since then, but for some reason, I often feel her gaze. I thought maybe I was being paranoid, but whenever our eyes meet, she hides, so it's pretty obvious. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, Takabi-sensei! What's up? I had a super scary university interview. Wow, you did your best, though. There are some oldies lined up, right? No, they were younger than I thought, but their eyes were scary. <laughs> hmm? Oh, are you alone? Yeah. Oh, right, I heard you got recommended to a uh, university. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Congratulations. Thanks to you. I didn't really do anything. I kind of neglected my duties as the student council advisor, so it's all your effort. Oh, is that so? But it was definitely you who helped me when I collapsed. By the way, what are you doing? I'm just tired of making test questions. Slacking off, huh? Just taking a break from reality. So, you're slacking off. Just kidding. <laughs> I just wanted to say congrats since you were alone. I'll get back to work soon. Takeda sensei. Hmm? I want to talk to you about something. Oh, it's rare and nice to hear you want to talk to me. Is it about your future career or something? But you've already decided on your dream university. Maybe it's about love, but I'll have to pass on that. I don't have enough experience. I guess teasing you like this won't work. It's about love. I find myself staring at you. I said I don't have enough love experience. I thought you were lying, because you talk to female students a lot and seem flirty. Uh, it may seem like it, but I'm actually a scaredy cat, <laughs> so I can't go out at night. Turns out you're more serious than I thought. Do you think of me like a prince because I helped you? To be honest, I'm happy she trusts me. It's adorable how the student council president comes to me blushing to talk about her feelings. But she's a student, so... Maybe her feelings for me are mixed with gratitude. So here's the thing. I want to make sure if it's really love, so can I keep watching you from now on? And when I graduate, if I figure it out, can I confess to you? Hmm. I was worried about the student-teacher thing, but there's still more than three months until graduation, so I guess it's a good period to figure it out. Sounds like you're already confessing, doesn't it? Hmm, but I'm kind of glad you're aware of me, too. This feels like it might be romantic feelings. And every time our eyes meet, I get a little fluttery. I'm curious about what she'll find out about her feelings. And if she just ends up saying I'm just her rescuer, that would be a shock. At that moment, I felt like I fell into a trap set by this clever girl. And on a warm spring-like day at the graduation ceremony, 
I listened to her flawless farewell speech. Hey, Takeda-sensei! Hey, student council president! I'm not the student council president anymore. Oh, right. I love you. Huh? I wanted to tell you because I realized I have romantic feelings for you. Do you remember what confession means? Of course. I was kind of waiting for it to come. I can't help but expect your response. Can we make some time after this? Uh, we can sneak out quietly. And just for a bit, let me tell you how I feel.